Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Chris Zureb, the embattled trainer of Asafa Powell and Sharon Simpson, has hit back at the athletes, saying they must take responsibility and stop looking for a scapegoat for their positive drug tests. Meanwhile, Italy's Answer News Agency is reporting that there was no label on some of the suspicious supplements, creams and ointments removed from the hotel rooms of Zureb, Powell and Sharon Simpson. And Italian investigators have questioned MVP coach Stephen Francis about the doping scandal. AFP reporter Daria Thuburn says coach Francis was questioned last night. Meanwhile, Asafa Powell on Tuesday night returned to Jamaica. His MVP teammate Chelen Fraser-Price has since described the situation as unfortunate but says she is in solidarity with the implicated athletes. The youth minister Lisa Hanna has blasted lobby group Jamaicans for Justice over an online petition highlighting how children in conflict with the law are treated by the state. Hannah, who calls the petition malicious and dangerous, says it has been sent to the Attorney General for review. Former PNP North Central Clarendon MP George Lynn is dead. Mr. Lynn died this morning at the age of 81 after a long illness. In your other forecast, Thursday will be windy with isolated showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.